Hi everyone, it's Jeff Spock, lead writer and narrative director of Amplitude Studios, back with yet one more of our focus videos that we're doing. Uh, we're working right now on Endless Legend and more specifically going through faction by faction to present you the story, the gameplay, how to approach the game through the factions. This week it's the Draken, following on from last week when we did the Roving Clans. Now the Draken are interesting because they are a clan that even actually predates the Endless on Origa. They've been around forever. They were sort of uplifted by the Endless into being a sentient species. So their big advantage that gives them in the gameplay is that they know the whole world map from the beginning of the game. Very interesting. It's If you've played Endless Space before, it's the same sort of bonus the Amoeba had, for those of you who are curious. Another interesting thing is imagine an alliance between the roving clans who we just talked about and the Draken. One can see the entire map, the other one needs to contact them to trade and open the marketplace. Could be very interesting. One more interesting lore aspect of the Draken is that they are sort of viewed as the protectors of the planet and were really put into that role by the Endless before the Endless wiped themselves out. So things like the Endless Ruins give them a bonus. Their knowledge of the Endless and their familiarity with some of the ruins gives them another aspect to the gameplay. Again, for the influence from, and, and the diplomacy. The Draken's big power is diplomacy. They gain more influence points and are more effective in diplomacy than the other factions. They can even actually force treaties, peace treaties and ceasefires and that sort of thing on the other factions who are at war. Because the goal of the Draken is to keep the planet peaceful, to keep everybody at peace. They have a diplomatic victory then. They gain diplomacy points as they play. They get to a certain number. They won. Org is at peace. Everyone's happy. As far as the units go, it's a very cool looking faction because they are dragons basically. Two of the three units are even flying units. So this is a big advantage in that when they're doing movement on the map, they can ignore the cliffs. They have some special attacks in battle as well. So the flying units make them a very interesting guys to play. And they just look great right? because like they're dragons. So that's it for the Draken. Diplomacy, seeing the world map makes them very interesting to play. Next session, we'll be talking about the cultists which is the one that was designed by our community. So that's a lot of fun for us to see what they came back with and then have to figure out the lore and the gameplay to go along with it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again next time.